Good red pyramid. Once you open your Pixel Lab app to start your Twitter header photo design, click on the three dots, select image size. After clicking on image size, you need to input the dimension, which is 1500 by 500 pixels. So once you do that, you can now delete the default test. Let's first of all create some abstract shapes that we can use for our design. So select shape. I'll pick this one. Put it here. Okay. After putting this one here, you can now select more rectangle shape that you can add to the side. Let's first of all align it with this one. So once you put that one there, you can create another one by copying that same shape. Then you bring this one here. Adjust using your using your position. So once you adjust that, let's adjust it again. You can now click on this uh this square that is in another dimension and then copy. Once you copy, you bring it here. Just create something unique and that looks perfect. Add other necessary shape to it and adjust, then place it where it should be. After putting all of those shapes together, click on this one and go to texture pick the image you want to use let it be in the right dimension before you add it to your shape so it should be in a square format now let me put the background color and then we proceed from there so background color this one then we can now blend our colors the image uh and the shapes so color for this let me use a yellow for this one a blue a light blue for this one so you create something that goes along with what you are what you are aiming at so now i'll use yellow for this one just put something together but don't go beyond three colors for your design now you can now proceed with your design by adding your name and then all other things so i'm using my name here so go to font select font click on my font i'll use this copy the font test after copying it, edit and type the name. So you can then reduce the size of your other name. And then you can put what you do there. Test. Edit the test. Graphic designer. Twitter and that should be very simple and straightforward. So now I'll put something like a shape. So I just the radius should be adjusted. Once you are done with that, you can then put the test you want to add to it. So after balancing the shape very well, you can now add fonts to the test. This test, you can add fonts to this. So I'm using regular, Montserrat regular for this. Okay, let me use semi bold it should still work well. So 
So now this one, let's copy this text and edit. Just write follow. Once you add that, bring it here, give it a color, and then go to spacing. Increase the spacing with it here. Depending on the exact text you want on on your design. So I'm just using this as a sample for you. Let me put my email. Maybe someone wants to reach out to me and all of that. So Obed consult at gmail.com. So that one should be uh, given a font as well. So since I've used the font recently, I'll click on it and click on semi bold. Now we adjust the size and put it here now all of these things need to be adjusted so i'll just bring my layer select this select all the new layers and then we use this portion to adjust it So after that you can add little little effects to your design, little little effects like this one now. I can decide to put a lot of dots and make it into a into a design. There are a lot of ways you can add effect to your design. So you can use line spacing to reduce the line spacing in between it. Can you see? Adjust until you have something perfect. Good. So you can then copy this, bring it here, we adjust lastly let us add another effect to our design so click import and bring in your image so this is the brush stroke effect i'll provide this in the description box for you to download so change the color to what you have on your design i will use yellow here then adjust and place it where you want it to be copy that same stroke and then place it here you can save and then use on your twitter space 